All right. Are we ready? So our workshop this afternoon will be about imagining an ideal leader. Um, so this is our chance to actually synthesize and filter what we, um, what we learned or heard from our speakers today. By looking inside ourselves, we, we had a lot of opportunity to assess our experiences in leadership in schools and in communities. So it's really a chance for you to, to look inside you and assess your strengths and, um, and weaknesses as a leader based on your experiences. Um, so yeah, the, one of the objective is to reflect on personal strengths and weaknesses and identify which parts of, of your leadership um, skills or attitudes need to be changed, need to be improved, need to be strengthened or eliminated if, if there's such a thing. And the um, second objective is to identify the desirable characteristics of a Southeast Asian leader. It will be um, objective number two. Uh, objective number one will be a personal reflection, and objective number two will be a group output. All right. And so, so the, for the first part, I want you to think about yourself. L look at your your strengths, your your weaknesses as a leader. You might want to write it down. Pick top three weaknesses or or, or, or strengths, and then reflect on these um, qualities. And then you may want to share this with your, with your group mates, um, the person beside you. Ju ju just talk about it, okay? And then also you can have three minutes to do that. And then after that, we will proceed to have a, a workshop among yourselves per group to identify the ideal characteristics of a Southeast Asian leader. Why does it have to be Southeast Asian? Because we have, um, our context is very different to other parts of the world, so we have to be able to address that context. And then, who are artists here? The, the, no artist, oh, oh dear. Anyway, so the challenge for you is to, to create a body map of the ideal leader. Um, so a map is a kind of a representation of something. For example, if you look at Google Map, it's a representation of Bangkok, for example. example. So what we'll do is represent the ideal leader into a body or into a being. Um, I have an example here. This is a workshop that we conducted a few years ago on, on the same methodology. So if you notice, um, this looks like a Ganesh, isn't it? Um, so this is their body map. This is how a leader should look like. So they label the part of the body that corresponds to a particular skill or attitude. So for example, number one is somewhere near the tusk, I believe, or maybe in the heart, but somewhere there. And it, uh, it refers to the um, quality of a passionate leader, for example. And the number two, um, an elephant has big ears, so, and that um, corresponds to perceptive and, and a good listener, I guess. Number three, somewhere near the mouth, it, to refer to a leader who is articulate or eloquent. So you might use the same, it depends on your discussion, you might use the same um, qualities. And it doesn't have to be an elephant, it could be a person, it could be anything, basically, a being. All right, so um, is the um, instructions clear? Do you have questions? So in this bag, we have materials um, like crayons, colored pens, and I think, um, yeah, a few other stuff for, for, for your artist, artistic um, endeavor. And then you can use this, um, the flip charts. You can put the paper on top of the table to draw. It doesn't, you don't have to assign a leader, or, or you can. It depends on the group dynamics. All right, but don't forget, the first step is really to reflect on your strengths and weaknesses first. I'll, I'll distribute the um, mechanics to each table so that you can review it. And if you're ready, you can start.
Excuse me, just a reminder. You will have another. You have another twenty minutes left. The yellow is. Time another three minutes yeah, to wrap up your um, resolving. I'm sorry about that, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's the dinosaur. He's trying to reach his mom. Okay. <laughs> Looks good. Uh, I like it. That's me. Um, where's the feet? I don't know where's the feet. I think I will look what that looks like. I'm the chimney. Under her, under his arm. Yeah. Under his arm. Is that just taking care of her? Okay, please make a big one. Excuse me with me. Is there a pencil? Color with pencil? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he does. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Or red. Present. Yeah. I don't want to. You two just do paper, scissors, rock. Do you want to scribble the responsible? Oh, under this one, it's under the arm. Yeah. Under the armpit, we can see it's like protecting. I think accountable and responsible uh, is pretty much the same. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. Thank you. Made it on time? Five. So, just a reminder, um, each group will have three minutes to, to present at mo maximum. Okay, I, 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 I managed to convince group four to present first because they finished first. Okay, uh, hi. So, we didn't really come up with a creature or anything, but we stick to simplicity, a tree. And you know, we might not really enjoy looking at it too much, but trees are always essential and it, you know, it keeps our, it puts, us, it gives a re refreshment, right? Like a good leader should. So, of course, a tree is not always standing and green, but there's a component of the roots, the trunks, the product, the leaf. So it's like a leader. It's not only just how tall it is, how green it is, but you need all components to make a good tree, like a leader. It needs many components to be a good leader. So a tree can be tall and grand and beautiful. It starts from the ground, the roots, like a leader. And of course, our list is arguable, but to stick with us, we think that perseverance, vision, and communication is what every a leader needs first. And from there, we can build up a trunk. And the trunk, we think, are openness, sensibility, encouraging, a passion, and being humble. So when a leader comes from the root to the trunk, they become strong, like a good trunk is. They stand strong. They look strong. They can stand the wind. And of course, when we have that, we go to the products, which is being more decisive, being passion, having power to encourage people and of course a good tree when you see it you feel like you want you can rest on it like a leader should be people should feel that they can rely on it rest upon it when the wind is strong when there's a storm a tree can protect them and I, we think that's what a leader should be being able to protect them like a good tree external factor is always a component as well like sometimes we have bad luck we have a bad day it's like sometimes there's no sun, there's too heavy storm. So I think this tree is a good depiction of a leader. And it's nice and simple and everyone always likes tree, right? <laughs> so that's what we have for how far we can come over the given time. So thank you. Thank, thank you, Raja.
that's our environmentalist group then, the tree. Um, who wants to volunteer? Oh, maybe you can start with group one, um, the next um, reporter. Please. Thank you. Three minutes starts now. Okay. Uh, the two of us will be reporting for our group. I feel like I have to defend our picture. Um, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> it's about the meaning, okay, not the art, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, we drew two parts of a leader. This one you can see is all colorful and, okay, I'll explain this one. He'll be explaining the other one. So for this part, it's all colorful and it's, this is supposed to be Earth, the globe, okay. Um, <laughs> the, the sides of our Earth looks like this, uh, for the right side, it's irregular, the shape's irregular. And it represents diversity, versatility of being a leader. Um, when you think of a globe, you think circle. So this leader thinks differently. He thinks of uh, how different things could be for the world. And of course, ASEAN, so we uh, put in, these are continents, by the way. Um, and then we cut off half the brain to show a leader being open-minded. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> So the, the brain for the, for the right side is colorful um, because this leader is creative and he's fun and he listens to people and, um, uh, no, okay, never mind. Um, for the ears, he has a megaphone. So this leader is able to speak out. He lets people hear him. He's able to be heard and um, for the body, here he sh it shows creativity, it shows that he's colorful and alive and he wants to explore with different things. He's not for the hands, that's a thumbs up, by the way. Um, the hands have a thumbs up, meaning that the leader is, uh, lets people, is supportive. He says, go get him. Um, he just makes everybody feel good. And the hands are dirty because he's the hands-on leader. Um, for the shorts and the legs, I don't know. <laughs> and the hair? It's natural, it's it being a natural leader. So basically the right part, oh, and the mouth is open, so he's able to speak out and talk. He's able to share his opinions, his colorful mind, he's able to express. So that's um, what the right side of our drawing means. So for the left side. Oh, one more thing. Why we don't want to put all the lists here? Because our drawing is so unique that we want you to reflect on yourself by looking at this <laughs> wonderful art of us. I know we have um, some creepy stuff here, the open brain, exposed brain. We have uh, big ear here. Um, big ear means that they need to be attentive, need to listen uh, to other people's opinion. And the zip mouth here represents that a leader need to respect other people's point of view in which sometimes he need to silent. He need to just um, stop saying anything or stop saying something on other people's idea. We have to respect other people's point of view. This is a watch. Um, Rolex. <laughs> New edition. <laughs> this watch shows that, uh, symbolizes that a leader need to be a good time manager. So meaning to say he needs to know how to manage his time properly for his family, friends, and also for his followers. Oh, thank you. And this finger here shows a leader uh, showing direction for, 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 for the team to, to follow. And this heart, beautiful heart, shows the leader is passionate of, th of, of things that um, he's leading. So that's from us. And please take a picture of our art. It's, uh, it's a good souvenir for you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Group one is uh, the Frankenstein leader, I think. But it's a pretty Frank Frankenstein. Okay, shall we ask uh, group two, please? Yeah. Mm, this is group two. Okay, so basically we're thinking about um, probably we can have a boat-like ship like look uh, so that we are talking about uh, visionary actually we are thinking that visionary is one of the very important things so we thought that navigation is one of the things that we must uh, a leader must equip so basically uh, first of all pardon for the picture it's like your younger sister in the kindergarten maybe yeah. who draws it 
but we symbolize the Southeast Asia as a ship and the ideal leader is the one who can drive to the right direction and Dennis just explained that it needs to be visionary and second this is there is a flex so it means diplomatic we believe that Southeast Asia leader need to embrace uh, all the countries inside the region and outside the region they should make a room so that we can have the equilibrium development we can grow together without being exploitative for one another yeah and um, also be a leader uh, one must be open-minded as well like just what we said uh, Asian is uh, a lot of different cultures together so we have to respect and accept all the differences and being collaborative so open-minded uh, so we thought the cat the brain here it's of course one of the thing that symbolizes and so number four we thought that uh, one must be adaptive and so we have all these strings whereby he can uh, just pull the strings to change the direction of the boat so that uh, at any point of time he can cope with difficulties and being flexible in his decisions. Okay. And next is self-confidence. It's being symbolized with the machine here. It means that being the leader of Southeast Asia, maybe we are still developing, but we s should believe that we could become the engine that when we have decide our direction, we need to have confidence to move forward to reach our destination. Okay, and uh, we thought that for a leader, one must be ethic and uh, professional. This is very important because you are leading the people and so, so a steel wheel is a mass over here. So you have to direct and also like what we have learned just now, uh, you have to bring the people to move forward. Yeah, if I can about the point number six the ethics and professional it means that when you are given responsibility as a leader you are given the steering wheel you should stick to it you need to be professional you need to know you need to have the capability to drive forward so you just cannot just left the steering wheel and let the uh, the ship sinking because of hitting some rocks in the ocean and else and the last is about decisive maybe there's a rope here but in the end the leader must uh, make decision about the direction where they want to go. So the flag here should show where the direction that so Southeast Asia will uh, will go to achieve its um, objective. Yeah, I think that's that's the all that we thought of. Yeah, and so please take a photo as well, <laughs> even though it's a kindergarten drawing. Okay, Ken, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for sticking to the time. Uh, so this group is more of um, boat, boat captain. <laughs> um, who's our third group is the Phoenix, isn't it? Who's reporting? Oh, OK. There you go. OK. All right, we all have our own parts. That's why. OK, so what we did was we decided to draw a Phoenix. Um, if you, don't want to, if you don't know what the phoenix is, it's basically a mythological creature from Greek mythology. And what happens it, is it lives a long life and then it dies, but from its ashes it rises up, it resurrects itself and it rises up again. So that's what we envision for the ASEAN or for Southeast Asia. You know, uh, uh, through this morning and this afternoon we talked about so many bad things that, that has happened and is still happening right now in Southeast Asia, you know, conflicts. Um, a few years ago, we had the Asian economic crisis. So what we f wanted to depict was from these ashes, with in ASEAN integration happening next year, we want, our, uh, we want ASEAN to become a leader um, that looks towards the sky, that's, that looks towards a vision. Okay? That's why we actually uh, did it in the motif of red and yellow, which is the ASEAN logo's colors. Um, let me first present the brain works of an uh, ideal leader. And first, he must be insightful. And uh, that means he must have a complete understanding of what's happening and he must be able to predict what's, hap what, what's happening next. And the second one is he, have, he need to be adaptable and he need, to, he need to be able to survive in every complex and every difficult situation and of course he must be knowledgeable and uh, the, the last one and the most important one is he need to be aware of changes 
and this is the most important one because he need to be aware of changes first in order to be insightful, adaptable, and knowledgeable. And this is all about the brain works of a an, an ideal leader of Southeast Asian. Yeah. Um, okay. So the next. Um, ideal characteristics are intercultural listener and persistent. So the reason why we chose intercultural and listener is because ASEAN is a region where there are a lot of um, different political system, cultural systems and economic system. So the leaders should listen to one another and understand one another. And the other one is persistence. So because um, a lot of leaders here um, do not like, finish their work, so they should persist, persist in finishing their work. That's all. Okay, so and about the diplomatist. So let's say that uh, you are the leader as and you got big customer. In the first time meeting, uh, I say you that, uh, hello, how are you? You say, fine. I say, okay, yeah. So uh, what you are doing? It's about information technology. Okay, so I know that you must leader must have ability the diplomatist. You must, must uh, you must show that to develop your relationship with other people. And the self humor, this is many guys again, that's, um, you are, um, you have a, lit a little, that's always so you that. You must do that and give it to me on time or I'm gonna recuse you. Oh my god, you wanna have it done like that. So, they really don't have the diplomatist and self humor. So I'm going to explain the hard part. So you got the fabulous brain, you got the amazing mouth. So you must have a very um, awesome heart. It is understanding and tolerance and selfless because as the leader is going to embrace everyone, regardless of the differences, awkwardness, and also the weirdness. So basically, you're going to be those persons who stand out and say like you have to unite. We also saying that this is trusting and care, also passionate. Because as a leaders, you have to love what you do. Because without loving what you do, it's not going to be an awesome and a fabulous job. Thank you. And next, um, I think this is our, the characteristic that every leader should have, not the Asian leader, is to, be, to have responsibilities and a positive attitude toward the hardships that you are facing. And then dare to take the steps. As we learned this morning, you know, take the first step dare to do that and a uh, leader should be a dreamer too and the dream that comes from his heart and real is still like uh, what's the word um, but like make it real f and use what is on his brain and make that dreams come true and after all last but not least this is caring I would like to share some things about the relics of the ASEAN anthem I think this thing is involved with the leadership especially for uh, South Asia it is a, we dare to dream, we care to share, together for ASEAN. We dare to dream, we care to share, for it's the ways of ASEAN. Thank you. Thank you. Our Phoenix group, um, thanks a lot. And shall we call on the last animal, the orangutan? <laughs> it's a zoo here. All right, uh, we've got orangutan, it's nothing fancy, but we think that he looks phenomenal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically, um, we've got orangutan, and uh, I'm just going to be brief about this description that we've got here. So basically, um, if you could see, this is the leader, the huge guy in the middle, and there's a, a baby, which represents the whole nation, which is the population of the country. So if you could see here, a good leader must be creative. They have to be creative in any sort of field in order to be a good leader. And knowledgeable, intuitive, gut feeling. A good leader must have that sense of, you know, they need to decide based on their gut feeling if, you know, if, they can, if he or she cannot actually deliver it very well. So, you know, you, you, you gotta rely on your gut feeling. Open-minded. It is crucial for every leader to be an open-minded person because, after all, that makes you a good leader. Visionary or thought-thinking. All right, this is pretty interesting. Thought-thinking is basically a good leader must be able to have or to have a plan B. In, you know, just in case a plan A doesn't work. So basically, 
they need to have this element for which is the forward thinking. They need to be able to stand on their feet should plan A doesn't work. Diplomatic, they need to be diplomatic. A good leader must be diplomatic wherever they go. If um, any questions from another region or from the population itself, they need to be professionally ready. Presentable, and that's the reason why we have a tie over here. Good leaders must be presentable. They don't really have to look good or good looking. They need to be presentable. After all, they are, you know, they, they can be the role model for the people of the nation. Honest, good ethics. Every good leader come from having good ethics. Yeah? Uh, what else? Well mannered. Every good leader must be well mannered. After all, what a good leader, what is a good leader without well mannered? You know? And uh, committed, and that's the reason why we have the tree trunk over here, clutching, the feet is actually clutching to the tree trunk. It means that he is committed. This tree trunk represents the whole nation, the whole country. So he has to be committed, he has to, be, he has to have the, the drive every now and then in order to run a government or, or a nation. Professional, of course, multicultural friendly. Every good leader must be able to adapt with any cultures that they are going to face. For example, like um, if there's going to be delegates from other countries, they need to really adapt with their how they walk, how they talk, how they dress up. So basically, we need to be able to respect them and adapt to their cultures. Accountable and approachable, and that's the reason why we actually put it right over there, right underneath the armpit of the orangutan. So um, this, as I said earlier on, this act as the people of the nation, and the armpit, it's pretty huge, isn't it? And uh, accountable and, and approachable, he, he, he must be able to protect the people of the nation, and people of the nation, or the population of the country, must have a say, and he needs to listen, and hence the open-minded. I think that pretty much summed up everything. Um, don't forget to hashtag, it's Orangutan Simia. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So we have a very nice gallery here. We'll try to keep it probably there uh, for you to take pictures of or, or whatever. Okay, thanks for all your contribution. We have a lot of common um, qualities that you raised. And except for this, it's a very image conscious leader. <laughs> no, but, but, but yeah, that's, that's very valid. All right, so that ends our program today. Um, we'll see each other in about one and a half hours from now. Uh, 6.30 for also in this um, room. Just bring all your stuff because we will be rearranging the room for the welcome dinner. And so you have one and a half hours to, I don't know, prepare, uh, change into your national costume. Some of you was, were inquiring about this. So if you brought some, you can wear it tonight. If not, it's okay. All right, so enjoy your break. See you later. Also, um, John, our communications officer, has already posted the photos of today on the Facebook page. The, the group, I mean, the Facebook group. Uh, sh feel free to share it.